Hello, you guys. This is the Tarot Queen, Jamila. And um, I'm here to um, do the April money reading for the Aries. So, um, first of all, I do want to inform you that I do have the comments shut down. Um, and the reason why I have the comments shut down is because you know, there's always going to be people that don't really have a belief in psychics and, you know, spiritual people. So I don't want anyone getting attacked or anything. So I just want to shut the comments down for a while. I love your amazing, beautiful comments. Um, I'm so happy that you guys are enjoying the videos <clears throat> and I'm just going to keep them coming. Um, make sure that you thumbs up the video, though. Um, also, I want to welcome you guys to join me on my Gypsy Tarot channel. Um, I'll put a link in the video description box. You can go over there and subscribe. This is where a lot of your money readings, a lot of the deep readings for manifestation. Okay, so this is where a lot of those readings are going to be. Um, so it might be a good idea for you to go and subscribe to that channel. Um, and I'm just going to start shuffling I told you guys I'm going to start doing my shuffles different um, I might start doing it before but I don't know so I'm just going to look at the Aries for April 2016 I've got really bad allergies and I didn't have my water going my humidifier and so I just put that back on. So I just need to exercise my voice a lot because um, there was, when you've got laryngitis, there's significant damage. Um, this is something that's been happen, happening throughout the years. It's just something that, that I get every now and then. So this is a five card spread. Um, this is going to be looking at your money situation. This is going to um, look at your current situation, Aries. So that's what we're looking for. Uh, we want to know if money is going to be coming into your life very soon. Um, any money opportunities that you might want to consider more closely. And what project is going to bring in more money. And then you've got a final outcome card for April. So again, um, this is a, a general reading for the Aries. If you want a more personalized reading, um, the link to my website is in the video description box and my website is back up you guys so if you were trying to get a reading probably the whole weekend I didn't realize my website was down so I am so very sorry <laughs> all right so I'm drinking some ginger tea also so I'm done with that I like to just record them and you guys I'm gonna make these more short maybe um 10 minutes or less <clears throat> all right so guys I don't want you to take the cards as being a certain thing um, I want you to listen to what I'm saying and not try to interpret the card yourself Okay, that's what I'm here for. <laughs> All right, so um, your first card is your current financial foundation. And you got the three of wands. So um, I can see that with this card that you are doing a lot of searching for ideas this month. Um I need my lantern. Well, you guys should be able to see that fairly well. Hopefully you can. So um, if you look at the drawing, um, the three of wands is a woman at a desk. It appears that she um, is at work. So she's not exactly all the way fulfilled 
okay this is not necessarily something that she wants to do for a living so she's searching okay she's coming up with ideas and I can see a lot of you Aries have already been putting some plans into motion okay so the three of wands means that currently you have been offered with an opportunity you have been presented with an opportunity you found some sort of opportunity there's some sort of offer or maybe you're just thinking about a new project so what you need to do is jump on it because we're in the spring equinox and this is a very very important time of the year um, for spiritual people um, this is when you're laying down your seeds this is when it's springtime the flowers are growing and the earth is regenerating itself after a cold winter so I mean this is all about your harvest and this is actually a March to April card so this is actually the time of the year that people start fresh projects and new relationships are you know starting over a relationship so this is the time of expansion the three of wands is about expanding um you can see that this woman clearly has a job sorry guys i had to yawn real quick you can see she clearly has a job but she wants something more so she's thinking about expanding so she can bring in more money um card number two this is um, will money be coming into your life very soon and you got the three of pentacles um, this is a really really positive card when it comes to money you really can't get any better than that but there's a message with this card there's some spiritual obstacles that you have to overcome which is why this card came up um it's saying yes you know you're gonna get the abundance that you want but you're gonna have to put your power to good use So, you know, as you can see, there's three women. They're conjuring up energy. You know, again, guys, this is the pagan tarot deck. So, <laughs> um, this is what it looks like. Okay. Um, so, I mean, the, the definitions are similar. But, you know, there are some deeper meanings within the pagan tarot which is why this is my go-to deck <laughs> um i will always use this deck unless i find another one that i like so the three of pentacles is teamwork so you're teaming up with someone and you need to be reminded of that because you need to be able to work well with others and you need to be able to respect other people's ideas um so i get the sense that maybe some of you aries on your job you're working on a big project um the three of wands is about also having doubts but not necessarily doubts but you're searching for something so you're trying to learn you're trying to figure out you know how are you going to improve your financial situation to where you don't have to worry about money because even though um, in card number one, you're searching. Um, this still shows doubt. Okay. Um, it shows um, for some of you, you know, you're having doubts about something. Um, and then also you're giving your time so that someday it will return. And so that's pretty good for you to be putting your energy into that because that's what you want to do and see I talk too much I'm already at 10 minutes y'all um card number three is money opportunities that you 
um, may wish to consider more closely. Now get this, I got the, oops. <laughs> I got the three of swords. So right off the bat, some of you are confused. You're like, what does that mean in that position? And guys, I'm going to light up my lantern because I don't have enough light. And then I'll even be able to turn off the light because it just really helps out a lot. Um, so let me talk to you about the Three of Swords. Um, I get the sense that for some of you Aries, um, it, your current money situation um, is going good. But I, I get the sense that for some of you, you want to help people um, that are in pain. So you, um, some of you are probably thinking about going into nursing. Um, for this card to come up, you want to service people that need help. Um, people that are lost, people that are so down and out that they can't even think straight. They're in a lot of pain. So you are uh, wanting to do a service to people, but at the same time, you want to get paid for it. Um, so maybe you're thinking about going into, you know, maybe you're thinking about becoming a psychologist or something. Or maybe a drug and alcohol counselor. So there's a lot of possibilities with this card. Um, but I get the sense that you guys want to help people that are in pain. There we go. Yeah, because that candle was doing nothing. Sorry about that, Aries. <laughs> I got it straight now. Okay. Let me turn it down. Um, so you want to help people that are lost. Uh, maybe some of you are going to be uh, going into some spiritual practices this month. Uh, maybe some of you um, are trying to uh, manifest a successful metaphysical practice. Um, card number four is who or what projects will bring in more money. And what you got was the initiate of wands. So right off the bat, what he's saying is that if you want to go into a field where you're helping people and it makes you feel good, then you should definitely do it. Um, this means that you are going to take your life to a whole new level. A whole new level. Um, the novice is when you um, take a step up, you know, and um, you reach another level of power, um, even as far as your identity. I get the sense that, you know, there's a lot of Aries out there that um, they want to be leaders. They want to help people. Um, so the Elder of Wands is wisdom in confronting obstacles. So you're going to be able to give people guidance, okay, with this field that you're going into, okay, whatever it is um, that you're going to be helping people. And your final outcome for the month of April um, is the Eight of Wands. And this is a really beautiful card, um, Aries. I think that you should go for it. Um, I think that people spend too much time not paying attention to what life is calling them to do. So this Eight of Wands is someone that is building and they've got a lot of positive energy around them and they are reaching a level of success. So um, if you're thinking about going on some new endeavor um, or if you want to go back into something, I think you should definitely, definitely do it, Aries, because as you can see, this young woman that's sitting there, she has money. She has her wands right there. She's got some kind of contract, you know, so she's getting clients and she's making money. 
Um, for a more personalized reading, Aries, definitely hit me up on my website. Again, the website is back up. I look forward to hearing from you guys. And thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to, to subscribe to the Gypsy Tarot channel, okay? And I'll see you guys later. Bye.